Morning, folks. Just as it has many times before as the Earth's catastrophe cycle resets, the sun will micronova. We'll be driving home that topic today as we begin at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day on the sun was pretty quiet. No big eruption since the one we saw top left yesterday morning. The coronal hole on the south is facing Earth and peaking the seismic uptick potential for the next few days. Let's jump right into a climate paper on Antarctic sea ice. The longest and grandest and most detailed study ever of Antarctic sea ice shows it's growing. In fact, since 1979, all four seasons showed definitive increases in sea ice. This regime shift is not only absolute, but it's 100% the result of melted ice freshening and cooling the oceans. The same thing we've said will happen in the north, and which over a dozen peer-reviewed papers have identified as the trigger for the Little Ice Age. Another fun note here, the flaring of the galactic core is being studied with the follow-on study kicking off immediately. They're noticing patterns in the flare distribution of Sagittarius A, and indeed, hopefully they can refine and nail down those patterns, even if only for Dr. Laviolette's sake. Now folks, it was a point in many of our disaster videos in the recent Christmas Day documentary. It was also the number one point of the video, You Don't Know Nova that they really don't. They keep breaking paradigms and finding new types of nova and pre-nova environments, and I promised that would continue. Welcome to a new kind of nova. The never-before-seen burst from a wolf ray a star smashes through the proverbial wall and makes itself known. Veteran observers, no binary, just too much material around the star, instigating the nova event. Sound familiar? Also, first spotting of neon in such a scenario, imagine what James Webb will see. Now, folks, the big story in astronomy today is about the thousand light year wide bubble, the local bubble in space, the one surrounding the solar system. Turns out, all nearby baby stars are forming on the bubble. As the shock wave interacts with space and compresses the material into stars through plasma pressure, plasma turbulence, and interacting magnetic fields. But wait. They want to tell us this is a random bit of luck. They think the sun just happened to travel and meet this bubble and is now, by some random chance of luck, sitting right smack in the middle of it. Okay, even the authors remark about the remote chances of such a thing, and it's because that idea is 100% wrong. That is not what happens in a galaxy, and the sun is not a hypervelocity star. This bubble is the shell of past solar micronova events, time after time pushing outward, and we are not seeing a random bit of luck with the sun in there only for the moment. They're going together. As with so many ancient nova events, with the star still firmly centered within the remnant and planetary nebula, that's what we're seeing here, not a random bit of luck. We greatly appreciate your support. Watch those videos to catch up on this topic if you need to. Our book on the topic is at otf.cells.com. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.